Caroline Lehm. It is so exciting uh, to be able to share this information with you. Uh, I'm a big fan of CMTC. I have been uh, a judge, but I've also been a teacher, and that is my background. I am a professor, I am a teacher, but beyond that, I'm also a casting director. And um, I think the information I'll be able to, to share with you today um, will bring in my background as a casting director for 20 years. Uh, and, and also just working with students and young actors who are, are just trying to figure it out and figure out where their place is. So, um, yay. So here we are. Um, I, I know that, you know, people, people coming to CMTC, they may not have had uh, as, as much audition experience as, uh, as a lot of people. They, they may have performed, there may be an interest, but just to let you know what to expect, um, it's a big thing, it's a lot of energy. And so how do you handle a lot of energy? It's kind of, it's kind of like around the holidays when everybody's shopping for that big, you know, popular gift. And, and it's on the verge of, you know, are the shelves still gonna be full by the time I get to the front of the line kind of thing? I want you to know that there's a place for you for everything. There's a place for you at the table. That's the first thing I'm gonna keep talking about that. And the great thing about um, what CMTC offers is it allows you to see so many of us, so many cast directors, agents, managers, um, people with as varied a background as you and your interests. Uh, and when you enter that audition room with a lot of energy, uh, just know that we're on your side. That's, that's the big thing. And, and so when you come in, you may see a line of faces that aren't smiling like this. <laughs> it does not mean <laughs> that we are not interested. It means that we're doing our side of the job, which is, you know, we're tallying, we're making notes, we're, we're figuring out where you fit in our world. And um, all you need to do, all your, your part of the job is just to do you. Go to your mark, introduce yourself, and tell us a little bit about yourself, whether that's through um, the copy or the sides or an improv, but we just wanna get to know you. There is not a, an expectation to be perfect. If we were all perfect, we wouldn't need to have a wonderful organization like CMTC connecting us, you know? So, um, so I would say that for entering the audition for the first time, especially for those who aren't accustomed to it, know that it can seem overwhelming. It feels a little bit like a lot of eyes are on you, um, but we're rooting for you and we want you to do your best. So just do your part of the job and that's all you have to do and then let it go and go on to the next competition or go get lunch. The competitions are really designed for you to get practice and get your feet wet at what it's like to be in front of a lot of interested and interesting people. Um, and there are ways that you can practice now and that you should practice now. I think it's really important. One is self-taping because what's gonna happen is when you get um, you go through the competitions and you get, uh, you get to the end and you have your interview process with an agent or manager, prospective agent or manager. Um, the expectation is that there's interest, but they may want you to self-tape. And what that means is they'll want you to go home with some material that they forward to you and they'll want you um, to figure out who this person is in, on these sides or copy, um, which is the scene, and they'll want you to tape it and, and send it back to them, and that'll be the next step for many. Um, and the way to practice that is to watch these shows now, to watch the shows that you love, and, and maybe transcribe a scene from there that you love and practice it. Practice a commercial. Practice a film scene, practice a TV scene. Um, don't try to copy what they're doing. Try to make it your own and then practice what that's like because standing in front of a camera um, with a reader off to the side, 
and, uh, and just creating a role that's yours. For some, it's easy. For others, it's really challenging. And you want to give yourself that practice. Um, that self-tape is your, your entry into a lot of offices. And so you want to practice that. Uh, there's lots of articles online. I have one on Backstage, so you can check it out. Uh, it's uh, Caroline Lane. It's uh, 12 Steps to a Perfect Self-Tape, I believe is what it's called, but go find that. Um, but then also transcribing, I think, is a great way to go. Another thing I, I would say that's really important for these competitions and, and just getting to know um, the other contestants getting to know um, the people running uh, the events uh, is improvisation. I can't stress to you how important that is. And yes, it helps you so much in your acting. It helps you get comfortable. It helps you um, make really fun, interesting, strong, wacky, but really fabulous choices in your work. But it also importantly, when you're meeting with agents and managers, it helps you be comfortable so you can talk with us. You know, so you can really have, you can come from a place that's really real and authentic for you. Uh, and I think that's part of it because nerves get in the way. Whenever anything's, um, when something's new, why wouldn't you get a little nervous? But also remember that the excitement of those nerves lives in the same place as the joy in the excitement. So think in terms, there's excitement, there's nerves, think it, you got to roll it into a positive and the improv really helps you with that. So um, I can't stress enough how important that is. So if there's some place locally that you can go to, if there's an online class, if there's a weekend master class, if there's anything, just prep, you know, just jump into it and see, because that's what it's about. You're going to be, you're going to jump into a lot of things in your life and improv really helps you do you in those circumstances. So parents, hi. <laughs> I, this can be very, this could be a very exciting time for you. This can be a very nerve wracking time for you because I think, you know, you're, you're so supportive of your children and you want them, you want the best for them. And so, I think, I think your support and, your, and helping them prepare is literally helping them be the best them, be the best of who they can be. It's not about getting it right. It's not about getting it perfect um, because there's no right or perfect. And that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a real human being. And so it's, I think um, memorization can be challenging but if there's a way that you can, you can work with them on that, that's helpful. Um, notice that because there's a lot of energy, a lot of exciting energy around you, that, you know, take the cue from your child. That if they're feeling a little tired, then help them step away. If they're feeling like they're caught in a moment and they're, they're missing, they're not quite getting the words down, or you feel like they might get nervous in the room and, and stop, let them know that it's okay, that we all, we all um, have challenges. We all make mistakes. I don't really believe they're mistakes, but um, that we're not looking for perfection. And if there's a bobble, if there's, you know, you go up on a line, um, if there's anything that happens, we're looking at how your child recovers. And, you know, so just, you know, if you can really be chill and help them through the process and, this, and in its simplest terms, think of this, this interaction with agents and managers and casting directors as it's a meet cute. We're just getting to know each other. It's a play date. It's, that's all it is. There are sites that will help you. Um, there's one that I send parents to called Children in Film, and it really gives you a nice overview uh, of what to look for and how to guide your young, young artist. I think it's also important that for parents, as you're supporting your child, that it's not always about acting or dancing or singing, that we're looking for a well-balanced human being. And so what hobbies can you also support them with? Um, also know that 
when we interview the child, we are also interviewing you. We may not be talking to you directly, but know that you're, we understand you're part of the package and you are included in that conversation, even though we may do, be directing everything to your child. So quick tips on preparing your reads, because you're, you're gonna have dialogue that you're uh, either gonna choose or will be provided for you, and, and you wanna make the best of it. Know that we have heard this copy, we have heard these sides, we have heard these scenes a thousand times. Keep that in mind. So that's good, and it can be challenging. So it's good in that we know what it is, so not to worry. Don't worry if you miss a line, don't worry about that perfectionist thing, put that behind you. We just wanna see how you read, that's simply it. Um, the other part of it is uh, because we've heard it so many times, how do you make it your own? So let me help you with that. Uh, in preparing for your auditions, if you have copy, which is the commercial uh, material, or if you have sides, which is the film or TV, uh, read it through, read it through once, word perfect, and then read it through about 90% your own words. What that's going to do is help you understand, okay, I don't know how to pronounce this word. I think I need to Google it. I need to look it up. It's also going to help you understand relationship. Who the heck am I talking to, right? It's also um, going to help you understand where you are, or um, it'll give you a moment to figure out, oh, okay, this isn't really helping me figure out where I am, what makes sense. So put it in your own words. It creates so much more understanding, and it instantly personalizes it and helps you look up the words. Then go back and then do... Um, again, 100% the words, 100% word perfect, and you'll see a change. And you can go back and forth that way until you feel really comfortable. And for any um, children or um, young artists uh, who have a little challenge memorizing, this will help you because you're personalizing each of the moments. And so that's really important. For the older actors who've been doing this for a while, I, what we're looking for from you is what's the relationship? So who are you talking to? Who is that person? And then you gotta personalize it. Cast that person with somebody you know, okay? We know that a star um, was acting in this scene in the movie or in the TV show. Um, but cast your version of it, you know, so then you can personalize it. Also, we're looking for your moment before. A lot of times with these competitions, it's boom, go to the line, make your introduction, start your piece, you really don't have to feel like the train has left the station. I, I would really encourage you to make, make your introduction and literally take that tiny second to put yourself in that location, in that place that you've already prepared for. And then that's your moment before and you launch into it. And then what do you want from the other person is what we're gonna be looking for. You're talking, you're doing a scene with an actual human being. Even if it's a monologue, by the way, treat it like a scene. You're still talking to somebody. The last thing you want is the feeling of reciting words. You know, I'm having a conversation with you. It's not, I'm having a conversation with you. All right? Yeah, we're, we're actually in dialogue. Um, we're actually in dialogue and and you want to make it as conversational as possible for yourself. And then how do you end this? You know, a lot of times what we get is deer in headlights. We get a lot of this um, at the end. You know, come to the end of the scene, end of the monologue, end of the whatever. Take a beat, come out of it. Thank you. That's it. The other, the last part, and this is for everybody. Um, the last bit of advice I can give you is that Professionally, you're doing so much to prepare, right? You're doing the self-taping, you're taking an improv class, um, you're watching shows, which is really important. You're, um, you're doing research online, you're learning about people and about this world that you wanna be a part of. And I can't stress enough that who you are as a human being is 90% of what we're looking at. 
and then 10% is your profession and, and the research and the goals. So it's important to have those hobbies. It's important to be interested in things. It's also important to be interesting. Be interesting. <laughs> so how do you do that? We want to know about the sports that you love, the music that you love. It isn't enough just to spend time with your friends at the mall or, you know, because that's, we get a lot of that. What we want to know is what makes you tick? What are the things that, you know, do you like to garden? Do you knit? Do you create soap? You know, what, what is the thing? Do you hula? Like, what's the thing that you do that sets you apart? Because it, it may not be of interest to you, but to us it is, and it will, and it's part of your work in what we see. All right, so in preparing to attend CMTC, um, I would really encourage you to research some of the past years to see some of the video because then you get the tone. Tone is really important when you um, audition for any scenes where, you know, what's the tone of the show, right? So what's the tone of the event you're gonna walk into? Think of it in terms of that. So do research on, on past years. Um, perhaps uh, watch some of the interviews. Uh, a lot of those people attend year after year after year. So you're also, also by the way, getting to know them. Uh, so then it doesn't feel like they're so them on the other side of the table and me over here freaked out with your eyes on me. So, so now you're learning about, not only are you a new face, but those other faces on the other side of the table don't feel so separated from you. Uh, the other thing you can do to prepare is watch your favorite shows. You know, because we're going to ask you that uh, if and when you get a call back, we're, we're going to say, so what shows do you like? You know, what, what do you, what do you watch? And you don't want to say, I don't watch TV. I mean, we all stream something, right? But there's, there's gotta be something that you enjoy. And that's what we're trying to get at. We're trying to, um, connect with you and have conversation. And so don't stop the conversation with, I don't. <laughs> so we're also looking for, um, we're also looking for new faces who really want to do this, you know, and not because they were told they should, or they feel pressured into it. There is nothing wrong with you wanting to become a doctor and an actor. I see it all the time. Yeah. Um, I see people who want to be an attorney and an actor. I see people who want to be musicians and dancers and actors. There's nothing wrong with that, but you've got to own it and you've got to believe it because if you own it, we'll buy into it. So I guess what I'm getting down to all of this in preparation is who are you? Figure out who's your authentic self and bring that to the table and have a heck of a lot of fun because we can tell too. We can also tell whether you're having a good time or not. One final piece of advice that you would like to share. I'd say my one final key piece of advice is uh, it's important to know that somewhere inside of you, you already possess what you need in order to fulfill your dream. And sometimes you need the assistance, you need the help of people around you you know, a casting director, coach like myself, an event organization that just opens you up a little bit. Um, be open. And if someone offers you the advice or a suggestion or asks if you're open to do something, or I wonder if you might want to try this, say yes to it if it feels good and try it. Um, and if it doesn't line up with who you are, as an artist, that's okay. You can say, you can say, you know what? I don't, I don't think this is where I am. I know I'm here. But understanding that that thing that's inside you, that's already ready to go, we want to see that thing. And a lot of times, you're going to see, um, you're going to see a lot of people around you, a lot of really amazing, fun, interesting artists who, um, and you're gonna go, wow, I wish I had a little of that, or I wish I could do that, or wow, she was really this and that, and blah, blah, you know? What it comes down to is we wanna know who you are. 
you're the only you. And so tap that thing that's inside that led you to the dream that put you here and let us see that person, messiness and all, because that's going to endear you to us. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. You take care and tell Audra hello for me, will ya? I, I just adore her.